Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Clayton, and today we're going to answer the question of what is cholesterol? We're going to explore where cholesterol comes from, what it is, why it's important, how it's measured, and also what happens when it goes too high. It's going to be a great video, and I hope you stick through all the way to the end. And if you're new to this channel, I'm Dr. Dave Clayton, and this is Cholesterol Mastery, where I teach you how to lower your cholesterol without taking medications. So let's start with what is cholesterol and where does it come from? Cholesterol is a steroid molecule that's an important part of human survival and in fact all animal survival as well. All of our cells make cholesterol and we can also get it from our diet by eating other animal products. This includes meat, dairy such as cheese, butter, cream, or milk. So about 20 to 30% of the cholesterol in our body comes from diet, from eating other animal products. The other percent, about 70 to 80%, comes from our own body. And that's made by all of our cells, but primarily those in the liver. So now let's talk about what is cholesterol good for? Well, cholesterol has a lot of important functions in the human body. It's an important part of all of our cell membranes and all of the trillions of cells throughout our body. It's important for the production of certain hormones like estrogen and testosterone. We use it to make vitamin D. And it's an important part of human digestion because it makes up bile acids that are important for digesting fats. So let's take a look at the two most important functions for cholesterol in terms of the amount that we use. First is its use in cell membranes. So each of our trillions of cells is surrounded by a membrane that's got to be both strong and flexible. That's how we move without losing our shape. Cholesterol is an important part of those cell membranes because it gives those cell membranes both structure and flexibility. It's kind of like a glue to hold our cell membranes together. And that's why each of our cells has the ability to make its own cholesterol as well as to absorb it from the surrounding environment from the bloodstream. The second most abundant use of cholesterol is in digestion, primarily digestion of fats. So about 30% of the cholesterol in our body is stored in the gallbladder where it's released in the form of bile acids after we have a fatty meal. These bile acids go to work digesting fats, breaking them down into smaller pieces where they can be absorbed in the small intestine. Once that happens, we have receptors in the small intestine that reabsorb all that cholesterol, bring it back to the liver where it can be recycled and put back to use. And then the minority of cholesterol is put to use in these other aspects like hormone production, vitamin production, but most of it is used in cell membranes and digestion. So that's what cholesterol is good for. So let's look at how cholesterol is measured. In order to understand our cholesterol test and how cholesterol is measured, it's important to know how cholesterol is transported in the bloodstream because the blood is what we're testing. Well, cholesterol can't be transported in its native form in the blood. It's not water soluble and our blood is primarily water. So if cholesterol were just floating around in our bloodstream, it would clump up and cause problems and blocked arteries and all that stuff. So our body has developed a really efficient way of transporting cholesterol throughout our body in conjunction with proteins. So we've got these protein carriers that we measure in the blood, and when we measure cholesterol based on these proteins, it's kind of like looking at a highway and measuring how many people are on it by counting the buses. We're really looking not so much at the cholesterol, but the number of proteins or the amount of proteins that are carrying that cholesterol. So the cholesterol carrying proteins are called lipoproteins and the two that we measure the most on our cholesterol panels are HDL, high density lipoprotein, and LDL, low density lipoprotein. Now these proteins have essentially opposite jobs in the human body. Low density lipoprotein or LDL is commonly called our bad cholesterol and those proteins are carrying cholesterol away from the liver where most cholesterol is stored or produced to the body where it can be used in cell membranes or turned into hormones or vitamins. HDL is the opposite. It goes from the organs back to the liver where it recycles the cholesterol and puts it to use or excretes it. So these two transport proteins 
low-density lipoprotein and high-density lipoprotein, or HDL, are constantly bringing cholesterol around the body or out of the body, depending on what our needs are. Now, there are some other cholesterol transport proteins, such as intermediate density or very low density lipoproteins, IDL and VLDL, but these have such little amounts of cholesterol that they're primarily made of fats, such as triglycerides. So when we look at our cholesterol panel, the triglyceride number is a way that we approximate these other proteins carrying cholesterol and fats throughout our body. And if you're working on improving your HDL, your LDL, or your triglycerides, Go to rx5.com where you'll find our cholesterol mastery programs and we've got 30 day programs to help you improve any of these metrics. So let's look at why high cholesterol matters. Well, we need a certain amount of cholesterol in our bodies. It's essential for human survival. So our bodies have a way of making this cholesterol throughout all of our cells. Our liver makes a lot of it and each of our cells has the machinery to make its own cholesterol. So it's unlikely that you're gonna get low cholesterol that's too low for human survival because we were genetically engineered over millions of years of evolution to be able to support our own cholesterol manufacturing needs. And healthy levels of cholesterol are actually pretty low. So we don't really need to worry about our cholesterol going too low. That's rarely an issue for humans. What we need to worry about is our cholesterol going too high. You see, when our bodies were evolving over millions of years, we had a very low cholesterol diet. There wasn't any processed foods, there wasn't any butter, and animals were really hard to hunt with our bare hands. So we had very low cholesterol in our diet and our bodies were really good about not only making our own cholesterol, but also capturing it in the intestines so that we would recycle those bile acids and not lose them to the environment. So if you fast forward to today, we've got grocery stores that are full of meats and dairy, cheese, butter. All of these things add cholesterol to our diet. And saturated fats through various mechanisms will upregulate our amount of cholesterol. So when you look at whether we're getting dairy or meat or plant saturated fats like palm oil or coconut oil, all of these have the potential to raise our cholesterol to levels that our bodies just aren't equipped to deal with. So what that means is that a lot of cholesterol is ending up in our digestive tract and our liver and getting sent around the body where we don't really have a use for it. We've already got as much as we need. So the LDL is what goes up. The LDL starts to accumulate and what happens is our body starts to take it out of circulation by hiding it in the walls of the arteries. And we'll go into this in a little bit more detail in our video on LDL cholesterol. But suffice to say is that when our cholesterol goes up, our LDL generally goes up, and it gets stored away in our arteries where it can build up, get inflamed, and cause that heart attack or a stroke that nobody wants. So if you're interested in lowering your LDL or you want to improve your other metrics like HDL or triglycerides, you're in the right place. Like and subscribe to this channel so that we can keep sending you tips on how you can improve your numbers and get your cholesterol right where you want it without taking medications. And if you want to go all in, check out rx5.com. There we've got our entire 30-day program for LDL plus other 30-day programs for HDL, triglycerides, blood pressure, and even blood sugars. And all of these programs are designed to give you all of the resources you need to improve your numbers without taking medications and without giving up the foods that you love already. So thanks for watching, that's it for now. Let's keep lowering our cholesterol together and I'll see you in the next video.